Hey guys, today I am taking a look at the Impal Cheetah Sport Bluetooth head, uh, headset, headphones. These are pretty much intended for working out, sports activities, things where you're going to be in motion and whatnot. Um, as usual, Impal has an attractive box with their website, uh, email for support, and website information on the back, and model numbers and things of that nature. So, anyway, on the inside of the box, you have your somewhat unusually shaped uh, headset. They're very flexible, very durable it seems. And uh, beyond that, you have your USB charging cable, which I usually just use the one that uh, I use for my telephone or my tablet or numerous other things, batteries and all, because they are the standardized uh, USB connection. You have the medium sized uh, earbud uh, portion already installed when you get it. The little rubbery um, or silicone. They're just they're very soft. I don't know if they're rubber or silicone. And then you have uh, smaller and larger. As you can see here's one of the large. Um, they're kind of soft so it's already crushing down. Um, but anyway you have a large and a small set. And there's the others. And you have your little user manual, which, you know, some people may need, but Bluetooth, they all pretty much work the same. And you have your return and exchange card. So, that's what's included with this. As far as the unit goes, uh, this particular unit is, you know, the black and blue, as you can see. Um, you can see here, uh, left and right very very easily designated you have your microphone port here you have a charging port which i really like the charging port with this headset as opposed to some others because it sits flush as you can see it doesn't stick up uh, it doesn't want to you know unseat itself or you know become annoying which i find is the case with some and it pops right out very easily and goes back in very easily and again, like I said, sitting flush is a bonus because there are a lot of these that do not sit flush. And then you have your plus and your minus as far as volume up down. And then you have your track advance or track back. On top, you have your multi-function button. This will allow you to launch the music app and play the music. Or in my case, on my phone at least, I'm not sure if it's for every phone, stop the music from playing and close the app. You also have a little indicator as opposed to the blue and red. This uses a, a green and red. And this is, of course, your pairing button as well. Uh, when you hold this down and turn this on, you will actually get an audible uh, sound through the, through the device that says device connected. And it'll say, head, you know, um, powered on and device connected, sorry. And it will say powered off, which is nice. Uh, one of the other things that's really nice about the design of this, as you can see, there's an angle. So this is not, you know, just straight. This is actually angled, and you can see each one is a little bit different. They angle um, into the ear canal. So these don't sit all the way down in the ear canal like a traditional style bud, and they don't sit on top of your ears completely either. So it fuels the sound right into your ears, and it, the sound is really impressive. Um, for music, this thing did really well for both bass and treble, which is surprising. A lot of times you get bass or you get treble, but you don't get both in all cases. So having both in, uh, in that is a really nice thing. Um, I always call the same person and talk with them whenever I'm doing a review for headsets because I've done several now. And this time I indicated to them that I was calling for that purpose and they automatically said, well, I don't know, you know what you're using, but whatever it is, it's the best I've heard so far. The clarity is so impressive, and they, they were kind of at a loss for words. It's like you're sitting right next to me, basically, is what they told me. And they were just so impressed with how clear, how sharp, and how vibrant the sound was on their end, as opposed to, I guess, typical, which I don't know what they're hearing, but whatever they were hearing in this case, they liked it a lot better. Um, as far as my end goes, 
these like I said don't sit fully in or on top of your ear it's, it's just an unusual way that they work but it's actually very comfortable and I really like the design I like the way they channel the uh, sound into your into your ear canals and they actually block out a fair amount of background noise someone spoke to me when I had these on and I saw their lips moving but I didn't really hear what they were saying so I had to take them out so that's nice to be able to actually get that uh, background isolate noise isolation without having these be fully in ear or fully surrounding the ear you know in a cup style so that's really impressive um, when these are on your head this band of course goes around the back side of your neck um, it's very springy it doesn't put a lot of tension but there's just the smallest amount of tension and the cool thing about that is you won't have to worry about these coming off which is you know by design they are sport, uh, supposed to be uh, sweat proof, and I can't see them coming off very easily at all. Um, I think they're very durable. When you put them on, it's obviously a little bit weird, um, but you basically just uh, got the, the right side is the side with the controls on it, and all of the controls are on one side. Again, that's another nice feature. You don't have to worry about figuring out which side is which as far as um, which side that you want to control things with because some people have multiple devices and some of them have um, different design where they have I've seen some where some of the controls are on one side and some are on the other so this all being on one uh, it's very comfortable I said it's sort of a rubbery uh, soft you know no pain no irritation I have found these to be very comfortable you just put them around and put them in your ear and you're good to go um, can't see these being uh, broken very easily they seem to be very durable and they fold up really nicely um, throw them in your gym bag or what have you I don't think you're gonna have to worry about them as far as breaking them goes and they have they, they were already I think fairly charged if not fully charged when I got them because it, it, the charge on these things seem to last a really long time um, I don't use them for extremely long periods of time like some people will but um, you know you should get many many hours and with standby time you can probably leave these things for quite a while a lot of times I can leave mine uh, using them a couple hours a day and I can usually go for weeks at a time without uh, charging most of my devices like these and I suspect these will be uh, very similar to that uh, I think the standby time is something like 180 hours so you've got a really long usage and really good battery life so they use a standard port like I said for the USB so you can just throw your uh, if you have a battery pack or a cell phone or a tablet or what have you for the most part unless you have an iPhone of course they have to be different you can just use your USB connection from that which is what I do and um, other than that if you have any questions I can answer feel free to leave a comment and I will do my best um, they're a really nice unit they're attractive you know as far as look and their functionality is very very simple very very basic but they do an excellent job so if you're looking for a set for working out um, this might just be your best bet so it's worth giving them a shot and give them a try thank you